Hi and welcome to Vulcan from Zero to Hero. In this section, we are going to take a look at Vulcan SDK and we will learn how to set up a development environment for Vulcan. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up the prerequisites for Windows. So let's take a minute and go through the primary needs. If you don't have the knowledge or the experience in programming with C++, what I suggest for you is go to the Pact Publishing website and take a look at the related books or titles on C++. Just go to the Pact website and type C++ and then search it. Here, you could find various and excellent books as well as videos specifically on C++. Just select programming, programming language, and finally select C++ and you will find excellent books here. Okay, then we need to know where to begin with Volcom. So go to the Kronos website where you could find the latest news and versions of Volcom. Go to this website and the latest version is 1.1 1 .1 at the moment. Before anything, you need to have a graphic card that supports Volcom. At the moment, there are several companies like AMD, Nvidia, Intel that have different drivers to support Volcom. For example, go to the Nvidia website and you can find those drivers here. Also, Nvidia has a list here that shows its GPUs which support Volcom. Famous game engines in the world like CryEngine, The Forge, iDetect, Unity, Source, Unreal have all switched to Volcom as well. Also, if you need to use demos and samples, these companies provide them here. For example, you can go to NVIDIA website and you can find samples in this web page. Here are the samples. And uh, Sasha Williams released some cool examples on his GitHub web page. So just go to his GitHub web page and here you could find samples in, in this folder. Also, I have an open source game engine called Wolf Engine that uses graphics APIs for rendering, and one of them is Volcom. Actually, Wolf is a comprehensive set of C++ open source libraries for real-time rendering, real-time streaming, and game developing. Here's the screenshot of Game Engine, and as you can see, it's cross-platform. You can find both basic and advanced samples here. The basic samples will help you to learn primary graphics programming and the advance will enable you to become professional on graphics programming. Okay, let's get back to Kronos website. For GPU programming with Volcon, you need a SDK based on your operating system. In this session, we will set up Volcon on Windows, but in the following parts, I will talk about other operating systems. 
also by default work on is supported on Android since version 6 and you need to work with Android NDK. From here, download SDK for Windows and let's check documents of Volcon. As you can see here, they explain the requirements of Volcon. One of the best features is cross-platform. The minimum version of Windows is Microsoft Windows 7 and rather than DirectX API and Metal API, Volcon is independent from operating system. You need at least 8 GB memory and 1 GB storage. SDK has binaries, but if you want to build a Vulcan or examples from source codes, you have to get CMake 3 or later versions. You can download it from here. As you can see, the latest release is 3.12.1. And here you can download CMake based on your operating system. Okay, also we need Python 3. So just go to Python 3 website and here you can get latest version of Python 3 which is 3.7.1 and finally, you need an ID for programming Windows and I suggest Visual Studio. Get Visual Studio Community for free from here. And also there are professional and enterprise versions for purchase. Just download it. Okay. Okay, for debugging GPU, we need another application called Render Doc. We will use it in next chapter in our video courses, but just download it now and go to Render Doc website and download it for Windows from here. Okay, let's set up Vulkan SDK and wait for it to be finished. Just double click on it and agree and install it. Now let's test our first Vulkan sample. Okay, go to Vulkan SDK path. And here there are two folders, one for 32-bit operating system and the other for 64. Just uh, go to this folder and run this sample. If you can see this output, then you have successfully ran your first Vulkan sample. But if you couldn't see it, then something might be wrong with your graphics card. Thank you for watching and tune in for next session. In the next video, we are going to learn how to set up the prerequisites for Linux.